Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new video. So, uh, this video is going to be going over all the information that we found so far uh, with the Achievement Diary tasks that there will be in the game. There were about half of them leaked in the last uh, video, well not the last video, but one of the videos recently posted on the official RuneScape channel, um, or official Ultra RuneScape channel. Um, and I'll go through with you guys all the things that we know that you can do to prepare for diaries coming out. So what I'm doing right now actually is planting jute at the patch north of uh, of Camelot. Uh, harvesting jute from this patch is one of the requirements for the, uh, was it like the Kandarin diary, whatever it's called. Um, so as you can see, I already had some planted earlier, hoping they would survive, but they died. So I'm just going to keep planting them until they survive. And there are a few other places that you want to have things planted. Um, one of them is uh, you want to have a yew tree planted in the Varrock yew tree or the Varrock tree patch. Um, make sure that it's actually grown because you need to harvest yew roots from that. So don't chop it down or like don't remove it. Obviously, just as long as you have a yew tree there, you should be fine. Um, you want to have a white berry bush planted on Etzeteria. You want to have a Cadentine uh, herb thing planted on the Trollheim patch. And you want to have a Belladonna planted in the only Belladonna patch that exists, which is in Draenor Manor. All of those are things that you need to harvest for various reasons. Um, one of the one of the uh, lumber tasks is just harvest a Belladonna. One of the Fremenic tasks is to create a super defense potion, which you like from scratch in the area. So you need to like harvest a Cadentine and a Whiteberry in that area, and then make the potion. Uh, and one of the Varric tasks, as I said earlier, is to collect some U roots. So before I go any further, uh, in the description of this video, there are going to be a whole bunch of different links to just, you know, raw text. Uh, with First of all, I'll have links to all of the uh, tasks that we know of. And I want to say thanks to a guy named Jiklim, who's in um, the Hexa chat. Some of you guys may have heard of him, uh, but he made all of those lists that are linked in the description. I was about, you know, like 75% of the way through copying down all the stuff, just going through the video and pausing at all the spots to copy it all down. I was talking about it in the CC for a second, and then Jiklum was like, oh yeah, I already did that. It's on the Hexus website. So I figured I would use that rather than wasting any more time. So uh, those are all nicely organized. You can see all of the tasks and read through them for yourselves. But what I'm going to do in this video is just go over some of the more notable ones. I'm not just going to read through all of them myself because a lot of them are pretty simple and straightforward. Um, but what I want to do next is show you guys a lot of the items that you're going to need um, so you can get these done ASAP. So all of this stuff down at the bottom here is random items required. And there's still a few other things that I need to do. Um, but bread dough, you need you need some bread dough because you need to make some bread. I think it's for like a lumberage one. Uh, you want to have some mine, or at least a mine talisman because one of the Falador tasks is to make a mine tiara. You want to have a muddy key and also a mysterious emblem for the wilderness uh, set because one of the wilderness ones is to open the muddy chest and one of them is to redeem a mysterious emblem. Uh, these are all seeds for planting the different things, the Beldana, Cadentine, Whiteberry, and Jute. Uh, you want to have one silk, I believe you have to sell a silk to the Ardoin silk trader. Uh, you want a team cape for the wilderness, I forget exactly what it is, but it might just be like equipped a team cape or something like that, but yeah, that's one of them. Uh, one of the, I forget which area it is, but it might be Varrock, but you want to have a raw summer pie, um, because you want to, you have to cook a summer pie at some location for one of the tasks. A scarecrow you have to place, I believe it's in Mauritania, but I'm not exactly sure, I can't remember. But you need to have a scarecrow to place in one of the locations as a task. You have to kill a desert lizard for the desert task, so uh, get yourself an ice cooler. Um, you have to cook a thin snail for one of the Mauritania tasks, so if you go, if you go kill a snail you can get that. Uh, you need an oily fishing rod, and this is actually for the wilderness one. Um, you need to catch a lava eel in the wilderness, and in order to catch a lava eel you need an oily fishing rod. And the way that you get an oily fishing rod is actually a lot more complicated than I thought. It's used in the, the uh, Hero's Quest, and I don't think you have to do this for the Hero's Quest, but um, in order to get an oily fishing rod, you have to get uh, blamish snail oil. And the way that you get this is first you have to go kill a, a Meyer blamish snail, which is in the Mortmeyer Swamp. You have to use a pestle and mortar on the raw meat, and you have to get a sample bottle, which is an item you can buy from the Canifis General Store. Um, and that makes blemish snail slime. And then you have to make a Hairlander potion unfinished, so use a Hairlander herb on a uh, vial of water. Combine that with the blemish snail slime, and you get blemish snail oil. And then you use that on your on a regular fishing rod, not a fly fishing rod, and you get an oily fishing rod. So, yeah, it's kind of annoying, but you do need that to catch a lava eel. 
Uh, you want some bones, I think. Uh, there's some use for bones in one of the tasks, so you want, you want at least one set of bones. I don't know why I have so many, but yeah. Another My uh, Mortmire task is to craft a Snelm, so having a shell ready to go is always good. Uh, and I think another one is to equip a Wolfbane or something like that. I believe it's one of the Varrock tasks is to create yourself a spottier cape, so getting some dashing kebit fur would be nice. Um, and thus, most of the items you need, there's still a few more that I need to get, um, and a few that I already have that I don't need to worry about. One thing you definitely want to make sure you have is a Skull Scepter, which is what you get from killing the unique monsters in the Stronghold of Security. Uh, you get all four of the pieces, you combine them. For some reason, I have a ton of these. I never actually use them, but I'm glad I have them now because uh, using the Skull, Skep Skull Scepter Teleport is, I believe, on the Varrock tasks. Um, there's all sorts of other random little things, you know, like unpowered orbs and lots of different bars. Um, you want to make sure that you have all the god spells unlocked. I'm on Lunars right now, but like the Serodomon Strike, uh, Guthix Claws, and Flames of Zemrak. I think I have all of them unlocked, but I do actually have to go double check with that. Another big thing that I still have to do is Bones to Peaches. You have to have Bones to Peaches unlocked. It's actually for the Lumberge task because Alcarid is for some reason included in Lumberge. But yeah, you need to have Bones to Peaches unlocked to cast the spell as one of the tasks, so I'm actually going to be doing that quite soon. Um, and there's a few things that people speculate about, uh, such as the Master White Knight rank, which involves killing, I think it's like 1,325 or 1,250 maybe, somewhere around there, a whole bunch of Black Knights. So I'm probably going to do that too, just out of uh, extra preparation. Um, you want to have some soft clay, actually, to make into a bowl or something like that. It's one of the Varrock tasks, I believe. Um, let's see, I have a whole long list, and this will be in the description if you guys want to read through it on your own. Uh, you want to have a mithril grapple. I believe it's one of the tasks is to uh, grapple over some location. Um, you want to have something that you can tan, so just any hide or any uh, leather. That you, or no, any hide that you can tan into leather because one of the areas is to tan... Uh, something or other. You want to have some bone meal? Oh yeah, that, maybe that's why I have bones. Uh, you need to make some bone meal because that's one of the Mauritania tasks is to uh, use some bone meal on the Ectophuntus. Um, and I believe that's most of the items that you're going to need. Once again, in the description if you want to read through it once again because uh, it may have been a little bit complicated. Another thing you actually need is a golden helmet, which is the thing that you make after the Between a Rock quest. Uh, but Believe it or not, one of the tasks is to make a golden helmet in, in the wilderness for some reason. And then another one of the tasks uh, in Fremenic, I believe it is, is just to like equip one. Or, or Actually, I think it's to go into the mine with it, which you have to have it equipped to do. Um, oh yeah, another one is to make a lap around the penguin agility course. And uh, you want to figure out the penguin course so you know what you're doing. And also unlocking Eagle Transport to, uh, I believe it's Oozer. You, you have to take an Eagle Transport to the desert as one of the desert tasks. That's another thing I need to do, but most of the Eagle Transport locations you do need to uh, do something to unlock. Um, and I think that's a pretty quick one. And one thing that I'm surprised that I didn't mention already is that it is confirmed that Quest Cape is a requirement for the Lumberge Elite tasks. Uh, one of the Lumberge Elite tasks is to go talk to the wise old man while wearing a quest, wearing a quest cape. Uh, so yeah, it's confirmed you need 246 quest points to be able to complete all of the achievement diary sets. So that's kind of interesting, but I guess not too surprising. Um, and I believe that you will need some kind of skill cape anyways to perform the skill cape emote. Uh, that's what they were saying before anyways. Uh, so yeah. And for any of you guys who haven't seen it already, I will post a, also a picture in the description of all of the skills required. I have all of the skills required currently besides Slayer, and I will be able to do it because I'll use all the XP lamps on Slayer, which will get me to level 88, and then I'll use a wild pie to boost myself up to 93. And for anyone who is wondering, I tweeted at John C. a while ago when he first tweeted the 93 Slayer requirement, asking if you'd be able to kill one of the smoke devils off task to complete the task. And you confirm that you can, so uh, it shouldn't be a problem boosting it. You should be able to, and you can boost every single other task. So if you can't boost it, I'm going to be kind of pissed. <laughs> All right, so these are the uh, knight rankings that I'm talking about. Uh, there, are, what are there? Six different ranks. The highest one is 1300, and I wouldn't be surprised if one of the like elite Valador tasks was to purchase like a white 2H sword or whatever. For because for anyone who doesn't know, uh, the higher your white knight ranking, the more white uh, armor you can purchase from. Uh, I believe it's Survivin. Um, yeah, so, 
Uh, white armor is basically just the same stats as black, the same requirements, except it has very small prayer bonus on most of the pieces, if not all of them. I think it's like it's basically like a step down from initiate because uh, initiate is like the same tier as mithril, but with a s small prayer bonus. And then there's proselyte, which is the same tier as Addy with with prayer bonus. And then white is the same tier as black with an even less prayer bonus than initiate. Uh, but for some reason, you have to kill 1,300 black knights before you can actually buy it. I do think that all of this stuff is tradable. Before you do that, though, you just can't buy it from the shop. I'm pretty sure. But it's kind of cool-looking stuff anyways, and there actually is a white staff, which I think has the same stats as, like, a magic staff or whatever, but it's just solid white, which is kind of cool-looking. Maybe I'll pick up some swag after I do this, but yeah, my plan right now is to go and kill 1,300 Black Knights. I'll probably take around three hours, and then I'm going to do uh, Unlock Bones to Peaches, um, and that will take somewhere around four hours, I think. I've done it once before on RS3 for Comp Cape. And it was annoying, drop a few mil on the runes, but oh well. It's a nice thing to get unlocked anyways, and uh, it is a requirement, so I may as well get it done. So this is where I'm going to be killing the Black Knights. It's in the uh, Taverly dungeon. Uh, if you go down past the Blue Dragons, all the way down past the Chaos Dwarf things, south and past the Hill Giants and everything, you come up to this weird hideout thing for all of the Black Knights. Just drop down a cannon here and uh, camp here for around three hours and you should get the kills you need. I don't really know if I need to bother praying, uh, but I'll make that decision, see whether I still want to. I'm actually wearing just maxed out strength gear, even like a strength amulet and stuff, because these things are so low level that you probably will never really hit zero, so higher the strength bonus the better, as far as I can really tell. Um, but yeah, it might be better off just taking Banos and not praying, I don't know if it really matters that much. But yeah, 1300 Black Knights killed, uh, I'm just gonna do it, you know, it's speculation. Another some th thing that's somewhat speculation is uh, Chompy kills. A lot of people think that it'll be uh, 1k Chompy kills for the western provinces, it probably would be. Um, like equip the f equip a five feather hat and the lowest one is a thousand Chompy kills. Luckily I already have 4000 Chompies killed, and I do have a guide on killing Chompies if any of you guys want to see that, I can put it in the description also. Um, but yeah, that's another speculative thing, so if you really want to be like fully prepped for diaries, it might be something worth doing. But anyways, uh, I think that's pretty much everything that I know that I can share with you guys. Uh, all of those links, once again, will be in the description, and thanks to Jiklim for the lists. Um, and best of luck with the diaries. I am going to be trying to get them, getting all of them done day of release. We'll see whether that happens or not, but uh, I'm hopeful, and it'll be really cool. And uh, we will be getting a lot of really useful rewards and also the diary cape along with a trimmed uh, quest point cape if you have the diary cape and the quest cape. So that'll be pretty cool. I may actually end up wearing that because it shows off a lot more skills than any single skill cape does. Um, so it's probably the cape that will show the most amount of time spent until we get a max cape, which probably will happen. But anyways, hopefully this video has been helpful to you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys soon with more stuff. Videos. Stuff.